Hi everyone, I hope you can hear me okay in this video. This is going to be a new video of how to take this and put it on a stretched canvas. Okay, I'm going to go start to finish with you so that way you can see how it's done if you want to glue it, glue a diamond painting to a stretched canvas. So stick with me and we'll be I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, I'm going to put you down low so you can see what I'm doing while I'm doing it. I'll try to talk loud. I have a little echo in here because I am, you are a little bit further away from me. So that way you, I can get you in the picture. So I'm going to be working down here. So you need to see down here. And you will also see the diamond painting that I just completed is a cat that is partial, but it had so many special diamonds that it might as well have been full. Look at this. Isn't this wonderful? Look how beautiful. Look how pretty. Let's see it up close. Let's see it up close. Look at all those beautiful, beautiful diamonds. Beautiful, beautiful diamonds. It's so pretty. And I'm going to put it on this stretch canvas. This one is already gessoed in black, which is acrylic, watered down acrylic paint, really, what gesso is that they already put over. That's what's painted already over your um, stretch canvas. Now this has been sitting, waiting on me to do something with it. And it's, it's going to show some, some um, marks. And, but that's okay. I kind of want it looking a little rough. But um, anyways, this I don't have to paint. It's black. This is already black. You can get them at Hobby Lobby or you can um, order them from other places. But it is a stretched canvas. We're gonna we're gonna glue it with Gorilla Glue. Okay, we're gonna make sure we get that. Every time I get it, I shake that thing up. So, anyways, first of all, though, we've got to cut this edge around it. We want to get rid of this excess right here. Okay, and I like to keep these little keys. But for this one, it doesn't have a picture and, and everything. I, I probably won't. But anyways, um, I'm going to put you down this way so you can see what I do and what I use to cut that out on the side so it's nice and straight and even. If you see here, I have a quilter's mat, which you can cut on this. And, I, and, and it, it self-heals. It's really, really nice mat. It's a quilter's mat. You can get it at any quilter, you know, where you can get quilting stuff. Walmart even, maybe. Um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and, uh, you know, Joann's, whatever. And this is a quilter square cutter. If you notice, it looks like a pizza cutter. <laughs> but what this does, it runs alongside, alongside this straight edge. I have a quilter straight edge. And what I do is I line it up. What I'm going to do is I'm trying to get this plastic thing here even with that black edge right here. And it wants to move because we have some of the special diamonds are sticking up. And so it makes it want to move. So we have to be very careful. Now this... You you press this button to uh, you press this button to make it go down. You see you can see that that blade now. Now when you don't or you're not using it, make sure that you press that and make it go back to where you don't see that blade and it won't cut you. 
That's the safety feature. So now, making sure my fingers are in, I'm gonna go across, up against, stay right up against this. I'm not gonna try to press because I don't want this to move. I just wanna use it as a guide, okay? So I'm gonna start down here and go up alongside and there we go. There's the first cut. Now, we are going to turn it and we're going to not, don't worry about this. You don't have to worry about that. Um, in this case, we can just use the edge of that black on the canvas. Just get it even with that. And it would be better to kind of come in a little bit, just a little bit, so that way you won't have any white showing. You know, you know what I'm saying? You won't, you won't see it. Now, make sure our fingers are in. We've out, pulled it out and going right along that path. There's another one. I did come in a little bit, just a little bit, but that's okay. I won't have any, I have a little white right here. I mean, I can go back and try to get that off. Just be very careful to do that. So I don't want to fray it. I don't want it to start, you know, the canvas start, start to fray. So even if you don't get it just right, you can trim it a little more. So we'll turn it again and we'll do that again. Okay, even up with that edge of that black. Make sure we got it down here. Okay, that's as good as I think I'm gonna get it. And here we go, make sure our fingers are in. Start at the very edge. You don't have to, oh, I pressed a little bit and it pushed it, but that's okay. Put the blade back in, there we go. We have a little bit of white on this one. You can see it right here. So, I'm going to come in a little more and we are going to do it again. This time don't push too hard on the plastic. And let's see if we got it. Okay, make sure I get this, cut this little edge off. Come on, come on off. <laughs> it's wanting to give me a hard time. Okay, now, it's, you may come in, I did come in a little bit right there, but that's okay, that's okay. It's gonna be fine. It, you won't see it with that black background. This has a black background, and once we put it on that black canvas, you're not gonna be able to tell. It's better than keeping white, any of the white. You don't want any of that white getting on there. Okay making sure and it will move if you press too hard whenever you whenever you cut if you try to press up against the plastic okay there's all four now you can see the diamond painting has been trimmed nicely okay Okay, but now that I've got it cut, now I'm gonna have to recut this right here. I didn't see that white, but before I cut it, I'm going to go over it with a rolling pin, lightly, just to make sure that I got all of my things down. And some of these are raised. So I'm not able to get to the ones that's underneath. So that's what I'm doing here, is I'm going to press down really good on all of these, just to make sure that they're all in place really good. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna recut this off 
because it's showing white. Extra white. Let me just cut this out. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm making that last check to make sure that I had all the white cut off. I had a little bit, so I, I did. Okay, here we go. We're going to put this on. Let's see here. Which way's up? Okay. Let's do that. We're going to only glue. We're only gluing half of the canvas. This is why I don't have paper up there. Okay? And so we're, we're, what we're going to do is we are going to put this in the corner up here and we're going to measure how much how much we have down here extra make sure I get it in there just right all right this is how you find your middle part like if you're framing okay so we will measure from the bottom up to the edge and that's four inches so that means we need to move down two inches, half of that, two inches, okay? We're two inches there on that side. And we're two inches on that side. Well, it needs to come down a little bit on this side. Let's see. Are we two inches over there still? Yes. Okay, so now we are going to go half of what this is. Okay, so this is a little over, this is a, um, two and a third. Okay, so we're going to go one and a third. That same mark here, we're going to go over to one and a third. Let's see if I can do it without moving everything from where it is. It's going to be one and a third. Okay, one and a third. So now let's check. Oh, see, it's easy to move. But we know we know that we need to be one and a third. Okay, where's my thing? There it is. One and a third. That one and a third. And we're going to move this down here to one and a third. There we go. Now we're going to make sure that we did not go over our two inches here. Two inches. Two inches. It may need to come up just a tiny bit. Let's see. Yeah, I need to come up just a hair. Okay, now we're going to check down here again. If it's two inches, it's over two inches, so we're going to need to go down just a little. Okay, let's see. It's mainly just getting it is it, it don't have to be totally exact. Now that's two inches down there. Okay. And one of the things come off. We got to put you back in there. Okay. Let me see if I can find something to let's see if I can put you back on there. The glue must I'm gonna we're gonna glue it with the the sealer when I get done here. Okay, now, check it again. That's about two inches. A little bit over. A little bit over two inches. So we could probably come up just 
a tiny little bit. And that will be as exact as we are going to do. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray the glue under one side. So that way it only moves. You're only lifting up. So that way it will, um, won't, it won't move <laughs> where you have it on the, on the thing. And this looks a little bigger over here. Let me check. One and a quarter. Just go just a little bit that way. Just a little bit that way. Okay, let's see. Now it looks bigger on that side. It's going to be hard to get this, and see, I can't really get in there good to the... Okay, that's as good as it's going to get, I think, everybody. I think that's probably about as straight as we are going to get. That's about as much as I can get straight. Okay, I'm probably getting off the camera. Ha! Okay, so what we are going to do is I am going to lift the half of it up and spray across. Okay? Make sure your window is open. Let's try it out and see if my glue will work. I'll be messed up if it don't. So what we're going to do is we're just going to roll it back and start spraying on the canvas halfway back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and you're going to want to spray it to where those corners will stay down. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and you can spray a good bit. Okay, we want it to stick. We want it to stick. Okay, and then we roll it down like that. Okay, now we're going to turn it around. Don't worry about getting the glue off the edge, and we're going to do the same thing. It's, it's actually spraying double lines. <laughs> That's okay. And if it globs, it's okay. And try to overlap for you that middle. And I know I am using a lot of glue, but that's okay. Now, if it globs like that, you can actually just rub it in. You can rub it, it won't stick up. So we are gonna roll that down. And now we're gonna gently press on the painting. Frodo, stop! Honestly, what is it with him? Frodo! Every time I get in here to do a video, he has to hack. He has to hack. He has to make a bunch of noise in the background. Thank you just trying to get on camera. Shh. People don't want to hear you hacking. I'm going to turn this over upside down like that, and I'm going to press it. Okay, I want all of that. I want my canvas to stay 
I'm pressing it down really good. I want that canvas to stay on there. All right. And I have not lost any of my beads. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this diamond painting uh, sealer. And I'm going to put a little on and just a little bit and see how this goes. I do not want to rake it over it and cause the, the diamonds to come off too hard. We don't want that to happen. I think what it does is it actually you don't really have to squeeze it. I'm squeezing a little bit and I probably don't need to. And I want to lightly go over. I know this is a partial. This is the first time I've sealed a partial. And so we're going to take that excess. I'm going to move it down. Take some of this excess and kind of gently get it in those edges. Those extra edges. So we're doing a start to finish here. And see how it goes. I'll probably go and take it and use my hair dryer. And it is kind of hard to get that glue down in, in the special drill areas. There may be some areas that we miss. Hopefully not. And it may cause me to use more than I normally would. Let's just go over it really good. Get extra. Move it to where you haven't got any. And see, I'm going to overlap the edge anyways. So that other glue will be fine on the edges. Now, if it's something you don't like, then take it and just, you just are going to need to um, repaint some of the black. If, if it dries to where you can see it, you want to repaint the black edge of the canvas that you can see if, if it, you know, Okay, everyone had to go have a medical routine um, thing today, and it's one of these things that women have to get every year, and it involves an x-ray machine that is very painful. <laughs> um, most of you women probably know what I'm talking about, and my mom's probably on there. Oh my gosh, Larry, you don't talk about stuff like that. You don't talk about that stuff like that, you know. But I want to encourage all women to make sure that you keep up with your yearly testing because it makes a big deal. I've had family members that have caught cancer early and was able to beat it and and get it out of there off of them early and um, if you don't then you can be sometimes playing catch-up is just not it's unheard of in the cancer world you cannot play catch-up with with cancer you have got to catch it early so make sure that each and every one of you go and have your um, yearly checkups on everything don't put it off please don't I've had some young friends um, that have found cancer of the cervix cancer of the uterus my cousin died of it um, she had a doctor that told her not to worry about the pap smear coming back 
uh, with bad um, results with um, this, what is it? What do they call that? Now I'm almost out of this. Um, abnormal cells, I think, on her pap smear. And the doctor she had said not to worry about it. That it, it won't, you know, most time it doesn't change into anything. And she died not too long after, where it was one of the fast growing uh, cancers. And um, I think it was also from that talcum powder. Uh, not talcum. Yeah, well, the, the baby powder stuck the problem. You know what I'm talking about. Now, I'm getting some bubbles in this. Some little minute little bubbles in this stuff. So, I'm probably putting way too much on. I have not learned about this, how much sealer to put on yet. But I am having to go in and around all these higher up special drills and to try to get the glue around all of it. So I don't lose any, anything. So I'm probably going to have way too much and it may ruin my picture. I hope not. So now I'm trying to just kind of get all the excess in open areas out from there. I don't know if I can... Is there anywhere I have not put any? I think that I've got it pretty much okay. Maybe in this middle. You know, the center. You always miss the center. She's so worried about the edge. And see, some of it has not gotten down in there. I'm really having to get down in there around these. Have you sealed any um, of these bigger things? Um, special drill diamonds? Have you sell, sealed these um, before with this? How did it go for you? Am I putting way too much on? Because there are gaps where there's no diamonds. And it's just the picture. And I don't want the glue to be just like globbed. So maybe I should use my wet uh, what you call it? Uh, washcloth. And take the excess off. I'm just afraid that I will move off some of the Okay, um, that um, I only have, it's, it's, uh, it's gone. I'm done with that one. Okay, so let me get my wet washcloth. Sorry, everyone. And I'm going to lightly, see, now that's dry and clear. So this isn't, so I'm going to have to repaint over that. So that'll be fine. Just touching up. And what I'm going to do is just wipe off the excess. I guess this is okay to do it like this. I'm just so worried. This is why I don't seal. Because I'm worried that I'm just going to ruin it. You know? Turn that inside out. Make sure you rinse this thing out whenever you get done or you're going to have a glued up washcloth. All right, everyone, let's hope that I'm doing okay. Get it off of these pretty things. Because it was gumming up on them. It was really gumming up on them. And get some of that off. Some of that is just really thick in there. And it should dry pretty clear. I just want to save some of my my little diamonds that are it's like they're underwater. I probably used way too much. 
I, I over water things. I over when I do anything. I just overboard. Overboard. I think my mom's opposite because when she did hair, she wouldn't take as much off as people would say because she was so afraid that they would really didn't want, you know, would look at it and say, oh, you took too much, you know. I'm going to go rinse this out. <laughs> I'm trying to get that glue off. It ain't going to work. I will repaint it and it will be fine. <laughs> okay, everyone. And I should have done it on a certain... I just want to make sure that I'm not trying to take off the glue itself. I'm just taking off excess that is ponding up. You know, I want my jewels on here to be able to be seen and not yellow over time over top of it. And then guess what? You can't see the jewels anymore. We don't want this to yellow. I hope it doesn't yellow. I'm thinking that's probably as good as I'm going to get it right there. It's enough glue in between each one. So now I can turn it around and let y'all see it. And I think I have moved my camera when I went to, change, to turn it on and off. But there you go. That's it on there. It's glued onto a canvas. And we can finish that up later once it's dry and repaint this with a little touch, in, a touch up of black. I hope that this right here was a very helpful video for you. This is how I like to do my diamond paintings. I hope it's kind of, I hope it's centered good enough for you. Um, I hope, I have a lot of hopes. Hopefully that this will help you figure out how to mount your diamond paintings on on, th on a stretch canvas, which is a lot more economical than trying to get Michaels or Hobby Lobby to, to frame them for you if you don't know how to frame. So this is one of my go-to. This is how I've done the ones on my wall you see here. And this is how I'm, uh, and now that I'm sealing these, I have not sealed the ones on the wall. This one has been sealed. That's why it's wet. I'm going to go dry it with a hair dryer, and we'll see how it looks when that's dry. Okay, everyone, here we go. I'm hoping that it looks good to you. And it's almost, I, I believe there may be a little bit wet somewhere. I don't know. I really dried it. And you can see where the glue, I wiped it with a washcloth. I shouldn't have done that. But that's okay. It wouldn't have done, it would have dried clear had I not done that. That was the Gorilla Glue at the first to, to put this down. I'm just going to touch this up when it's all the way dry with some uh, acrylic black paint. Just acrylic black paint. Anywhere I want to touch up where there was glue or whatever. But that's a good handy dandy way of putting your diamond paintings on stretch canvas. So hopefully, and this is the first time that I used the uh, diamond painting sealer that I got from Timu on a special shape because it has gaps in it, you know, between the, the diamonds. So I'm going to put it up really close so you can see these diamonds. See if you can see the sparkle is still in the diamonds. Still pretty. Let's see. Okay, hopefully you can tell. Hopefully this is a very helpful, if I say hopefully, 
um, somebody out there go through the video and tell me how many times I, I say hopefully and send me a $5 bill. <laughs> that would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm so sorry. But I want y'all to be able to do this and see how easy it was to do. Just, to, I mean, you some Gorilla Glue and the um, Diamond Painting Sealer from Timu. So, yeah, that's what we used right there. Plus the cutting, you know, the, the cutting tools and, you know, one-time purchase of that, you can do 50 million diamond paintings, you know. So, I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, Jesus loves you no matter where you are, whether you're up on the mountain or down in the valley. He loves you. Whether you love him or not, whether you believe in him or not, he loves you. He died for you on the cross. He thought that much of you to pay your sin debt, to pay your fines, so that you may be free to go to heaven and be with him. That's what he wanted. He don't want sin any he don't want anybody to go to hell. He don't want it. That is people that refuse to love him. And we all have free will. You don't have to love him. That's your choice. It's my choice to love him. And I hope that it's your choice too, because I want to see y'all, all of you, either, every, even every one of you out there, you too, in heaven forever without any, any, any care. Oh, it should be so wonderful. If you like the diamonds in this, just wait till you see what's in heaven. God bless you. Bye. And I got blue on me. Thank you.